Hello everybody, it's Colps here and today I'm back with another Pocket Mortys video. In today's video, I will be reviewing Giant Arm Morty. So let's get right into this. This is a character from Season 3, Episode 2, Armathy Morty. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So that might be in the thumbnail. Go check out Season 3, Episode 2 of Rick and Morty. And this Morty will be in there. I'm assuming that they're going to continue adding new Mortys from the new episodes. That's what they said they're going to do. So we shall see if they actually follow through with that. Unlike me, I usually don't follow through with any sort of promises. But let's try this guy out. And then we will check out his stats after we kill this Scruffy Morty. So he does have a lot more HP than the Scruffy Morty. But then again, the Scruffy Morty is a common Morty. And Giant Arm Morty is rare. You will find this guy in the second dimension. So I think I'm going to go over there and start defeating Mortys there. And battling trainers over there. Just so we can possibly run into another one. At this point, I have two. And I'm planning on doing a giveaway where I at least give away one. If I find more, then I'll continue to give away more. But we shall see. So that was two hits, which was pretty powerful. Let's go check his stats and his about and see what this Morty is about, I guess. So let's go to his stats. So he has, Morty recites the words of Hedism scripture, causing mass damage but lowering his attack. So I don't really like this attack already. I can't remember who has this attack. I think it's Lawyer Morty and Judge Morty. They both have this attack. It lowers um, this Morty's attack and... Judge and Lawyer Morty's attack after he hits any Morty, which really isn't that great. The Love Yourself attack is pretty good. Morty gives himself some TLC. I don't really know what that means, which increases all his stats, but risks paralyzing himself. This is definitely great because you increase all of your stats, but then there's a 50% chance that you paralyze yourself. Stare Down is an accuracy debuff with medium power. Really not that useful, I would say, honestly. And then Lasso is a power of 90, an accuracy of 95, and it's a paper type attack. So this guy will be very powerful against rock types, but other than that, I probably wouldn't use him. That's my review so far, but at the end of this video, I will give my full review of this guy. So he has a gigantic arm. That's basically his characteristics. This Morty has a giant arm that touches the ground, causing strain on his heart and shoulder. This Morty does have a pretty nice backstory if you want to go watch Rick and Morty Season 3, Episode 2. I won't give away any spoilers just in case you haven't seen it yet. But let's try it out against this Birdosaur Morty. Then we'll go to the second dimension where you will actually find this Morty. So we're going to use the Love Yourself attack and see if it paralyzes him. We'll use it a couple times throughout this. But this attack is kind of annoying. It's very good. Or this buff, whatever you want to call it. It's good. But it takes a very long time. That's probably why I won't use it very much. So his attack, his defense, his speed grew. I wish they could all grow at once. And then it just said, like, all stats grew. Because right now, this just takes way too long. And then we paralyze ourselves. There's a 50% chance of doing that. So that's one downside of it. And then my accuracy fell as well. So I don't know if your accuracy always falls when you use the Love Yourself buff and debuff I guess it's a buff and a debuff but if it does I guess there's two downsides with three upsides it increases your speed defense and attack but look at that we already missed an attack so the attacks you will hit will be more powerful and possibly if you don't get paralyzed that could be a plus side to this de debuff and buff love yourself but other than that I would say avoid this because you have a 50% chance of paralyzing yourself. So really it's not that useful. And he, he's already missed two attacks so far. One because he was paralyzed and three attacks. See, I would avoid using that. That's why I'm already thinking this Morty might not even be usable. Just because he has an attack that in decreases his attack. That kind of sounds weird. He has an attack that decreases his attack. And then he has another regular 90 power attack, which really isn't that great. I've seen so many Mortys with over 100 attack, and even then I won't use those Mortys. So at this point, I don't know if this Morty is usable. He's almost dead, and I was just using Wasteland Morty. I defeated a bunch of Mortys with that guy, maybe like 5, five to 7 in one episode. And he had almost all of his health this guy has faced two Mortys, and he's almost dead. So let's go heal up, 
and we're gonna go into dimension two i had heard that this morty was the worst out of the three in this game i didn't really know exactly but i'm i'm thinking he probably isn't one of the best mortys he's very powerful against rock types i'm sorry for that in the background guys let me turn down my volume someone just subscribed to me but his attack moves are not very good the love yourself attack is not very good and it takes a while to actually use it all i mean it takes like 15 to 20 seconds which i really don't even want to waste my time sitting there while his attack defense and speed grows then he has a possibility or no wait everything else grows and then his attack decreases so he has two attack moves that decrease his attack if you use all of those and he was still alive your attack would be so low at that point but you probably won't survive long enough for that actually to happen let's try him out against this mustache morty and we're going to use the recitation attack which basically decreases his attack after every hit it is pretty powerful against that mustache morty i will admit but then his attack gets decreased so i guess he could be decent if you're trying to capture mortys and you want to use this guy but again i probably wouldn't even use him then unless you just want to use him for his looks whenever i'm using a morty i want to use a morty that doesn't take up a lot of my time just using the attack so i would suggest using so many different mortys besides this guy maybe i'll make another top 10 morty video since there are a bunch of new mortys out i i know i made one maybe like 30 mortys ago if that makes sense 30 new mortys have been added so maybe i'll make a video soon once i get more mortys that i can actually use but for right now i'd say his looks are really cool i like his looks his big arm is very awesome to look at and if you are running on the left side his big arm will be on that side if you're running on the right it will be on either side you run on which really doesn't make sense but whatever it still looks cool let's go into a battle and see how powerful this guy is against a trainer and if he's usable then which i really doubt he will of course we're facing a morticia it seems like this morty is one i always go against she has a 13 level disadvantage which really shouldn't affect her too much against this giant arm morty but let's see how powerful he is and how much damage he can take she is using an attack buff which will kind of be annoying to go against because most likely she's going to one hit my giant arm morty he doesn't have as much hp as the wasteland morty which i did last episode and they're the same level he has about 30 or he has 39 exactly less hp than wasteland morty who i thought was a really good morty this morty he has a lot less hp and it looks like he's gonna die with two hits and this morticia will live let's take out our other giant arm morty we have one more i don't really know what level exactly but i know we have one more giant arm morty so we're gonna take him out a level 87 let's see if he can finish off this morticia before he dies possibly with two hits that's what i'm assuming will happen but let's use this recitation attack and see if it does a lot of damage it has to do 100 damage against this morticia so our attack fell our attack fell against the morticia and wow oh so we missed the attack but our attack fell so the debuff didn't miss but the attack or no the attack missed but the attack debuff didn't we're gonna die here this morticia is definitely gonna hit us once i will be back once i find another trainer to battle this will be the last trainer battle of this video and probably the last part of this video we're facing a level 91 cronenberg morty with 219 hp left out of 381 so this morty is definitely very powerful and he's starting to use the mortify buff which of course increases the attack move if you've played this game you'd know that this guy's probably going to take us out with one or two hits that's what has happened so far against that morticia but this guy is definitely a lot more powerful so he might even take us out with one hit my final review of this guy he's unusable don't use him unless you're solely using him for his looks or trying to get him for the morty deck but even then there are so many other better mortys out there that you could use so i'd suggest not using him there we go we actually killed cronenberg morty let's see what kind of xp we gain from this his attack moves are very annoying to use i don't like the love yourself attack holy shit 5655 it's pretty good and he's decently strong against rock types but even then 
There are other Mortys who are way more powerful. Morty Durangia, Mascot Morty, those are two really good paper types you could use. And there's probably a bunch more that I'm forgetting right now. But I would suggest using those over this Giant Arm Morty. Even though he's a rare Morty and he might be pretty difficult to find, that doesn't mean he's necessarily good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Please tell me what you think about this Morty. I know he's a really cool character. I really love him from Season 3, Episode 2, so I might be using him on and off just because I like his character in Rick and Morty. But other than that, I don't think I'll ever use this guy. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.